we've even learned some advanced sections of Solidity. And this is going to be the last time that we start our projects in Remix. We're going to be moving over to a code editor now where we can get even more advanced with our Solidity and our setups. For the most part, you've gone over the vast majority of Solidity basics. There are a number of things that we still haven't learned yet. And the reason we haven't gone into them is because they get more advanced and understanding their real use doesn't really make too much sense until a little bit later. Some of the things that we're going to go over are enums, events, try catch, function selectors, ABI encoding, hashing, and then you will slash, and then you will slash assembly. However, if you've gotten this far, you probably can read most Solidity code and understand what's going on, which is absolutely fantastic. So you should give yourself a huge round of applause for getting this far and doing this. Let's do a quick summary of this more advanced section and make sure we understand what we learned. In Solidity, there are a couple special functions. Some of them are receive, fallback, and constructor. These functions don't need to have the function keyword and instead can just be called like so. Receive and fallback are two very special functions. If data is sent with a transaction and no function was specified, the transaction will default to the fallback function if that fallback function exists. If data is empty and there's a receive function, it'll call the receive function. There are a couple of keywords that can help us save gas in the long run. Some of those keywords are going to be constant and immutable. Constant and immutable are for variables that can only be declared and updated once. Once we say minimum USD is 50 times 1E18, this minimum USD can never be changed again. And this helps us save gas. Immutable can also save gas similar to constant. However, immutable variables can be declared one time in the constructor. Once an immutable variable is declared, it can't be changed later on. In fact, if we even tried to update an immutable variable or a constant variable and we compiled, our compiler would give us an error saying, can't write to immutable here. Or if we tried to change a constant variable, our compiler would say, hey, you can't assign to a constant variable. Sorry. In Remix, if we want to send Ether to a contract that's on the JavaScript virtual machine, we can deploy that contract. And then in the contract, we can just hit the transact button without any call data and update the value that we send with the transaction. If call data is blank, it'll trigger a receive function if it exists. But if there's data that doesn't specify any of the other functions, it'll trigger the fallback function.